This is the new Mac Studio. Mining cryptocurrency profitably requires two things, power and efficiency. Introducing M1 Ultra. This multi-die architecture is way ahead of anything else in the industry. It has a powerful 20-core CPU with 16 high-performance cores and four high-efficiency cores. It also features a huge 64-core GPU, so it can speed through the most intense graphic tasks. So I paid $5,000 for one, and we're gonna mine crypto on it. Mining used graphic cards to be able to get more computation. Yo, we are going to be expanding. The mining power of one GPU equals that of around 30 CPU. This is my six GPU Vega mining rig. This is a 12 GPU rig. And when we compare M1 Ultra to the fastest 16 core PC desktop chip available, it delivers 90% higher performance. Most people use graphics cards for this type of mining because they're the most accessible and profitable. Apple says their chip is as powerful as a $2,000 graphics card. But is it? For comparison, we put together a PC that has roughly the same price tag. It has an i9-12900K and an RTX 3090 Ti. A PC that, when fully loaded, is worth about $5,000. Here's why most people end up using graphics cards. The 12900K mines Monero, which is the cryptocurrency best suited for CPUs, at six kilohash per second. But it does so while pulling 145 watts of power. You can mine on the CPU, but you lose more money on electricity, even just assuming a nominal rate of only 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So that equates to roughly a $4 per month loss on just mining Monero. The graphics card, however, mines Ethereum at 110 mega hash per second and uses triple the amount of power as the CPU at 450 watts. But that speed mixed with that cryptocurrency means that you're earning about $82 per month after electricity costs. And if you just let that GPU run without using the CPU, you'd be able to pay off the full PC in just shy of five years. But most people don't go all out on the CPU when building a mining rig since the GPU is where the profit lies. And we have an i3 6100T CPU. So the motherboard I got placed here. I grab an Intel Celeron G3900 or 3930. And your CPU makes no money. Apple, though, changes that. An M1 Ultra delivers faster performance than the highest end GPU available while using 200 watts less power. So that's the groundbreaking M1 Ultra. Clearly, the PC is more power hungry than the Mac Studio, but does that make it more profitable? Well, yes, but also no. Well, see, the trick here is that the CPU on the M1 Ultra is actually tremendously profitable. It's putting up the exact same mining numbers as the 12900K, but sipping on power, coming in at only 35 watts of power draw. So achieving the same result, but using way less, which means that you actually earn money on the CPU to the tune of three to four dollars per month, which is not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but it's actually profitable even though it's a high-end CPU. But the GPU on the M1 Ultra is actually even crazier. It produces 15 mega hash of mining Ethereum on only 20 watts, which is only $14 per month. But before you discount the mining capabilities of this machine, I want you to consider something here. If you scale the GPU on the M1 Ultra up to match the mining hash rate on the 3090 Ti, it would mean that you're only using 145 watts of power, netting 25% more profit per month. That's a hypothetical scenario, but it proves that Apple has created created one of the most efficient high-end machines out on the market. Obviously, that doesn't translate to real-world numbers, and the gaming PC we were able to pay off in just under five years. The Mac Studio, however, if you were mining at full tilt, would take you 282 months to pay off in its entirety. But the main takeaway here is not to buy a Mac Studio for mining, but rather, if you do have a Mac Studio, you can leave it mining while you're not using it and still earn a profit. Don't expect to pay it off, but you can earn a little bit extra money per month 
but you probably should be using it to create something instead of wasting it away on mining. And you can learn how to create things thanks to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is the online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. You can invest in yourself and your personal growth and put your Mac Studio to good use. One of the classes that I love that actually the Mac Studio is perfect for is YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD, taught by Marquez Brownlee going through their process from scripting to actually releasing their own YouTube video. This has helped us a lot and how we actually make our YouTube videos around here and I can't recommend it highly enough. But if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place for it. From photography to illustration to graphic design, freelancing, taking care of your plants in your studio to much more. You can find a class that matches your goals and your interests. And Skillshare is great because it's ad free, which means you can stay in the zone while learning, never getting interrupted by ads. And there's new premium classes being launched every single week. So there's always something new to discover. And their entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1000 people to use our link in the video description or use code UFD tech will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Again, use the link in the video description or use code UFD tech to try out Skillshare for yourself and to start learning wherever your passion takes you. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video.